<laughs> Thanks for joining us tonight. We're dining at the Charleston in the harbor in Baltimore, Maryland. Starting out tonight with the Ipanema Fizz and the Rasputin Martini. All right, we got our Ipanema Fizz here. Our good man Lewis is working on our Rasputin Martini. A Rasputin Martini. Beautiful. Thank you, sir. He gave us some crispy potato chips with creme fraiche and Parmesan cheese. And for our first surprise of the evening, a warm cauliflower soup with a pastry on the side. A bit of a tour of the Charleston. Beautiful bar. We're sitting right here. Lovely dining area. And then you can see the kitchen. Just the video. Okay. Beautiful artwork. Videoing. Okay. And the water. And fine cheese. Fried oysters that have arrived. And our lobster soup. Mistakenly missed a late addition to our grouping for the first course. We have the buffalo mozzarella, fresh tomatoes, and artichoke. And looks like some sweet beets. So far, the lobster curry soup is definitely the winner. And in a very, very close second, the fried oysters, followed up by the buffalo mozzarella. Solid, but still a little bit light on the flavor, but everything else is amazing. All right, so here it's octopus time with some lovely fried onions. And then we've got the sockeye tuna ready to go. All right, time for course number three. We've got our uh, crawfish grits with a fried green tomato. We've got our spaghetti with shrimp. And then we've got our fried green tomato sandwich. All right, we're back, and we forgot to do a review on the last course. The Big Eye Tuna is very good, very fresh, and very, very flavorful. This was the uh, fried green tomato sandwich with some nice crab meat. I think that was the winner. Number two was the spaghetti and shrimp. And I think maybe tied for second was this, but mm, maybe we'll call it three slash two and a half. Uh, the uh, shrimp and grits, really nice too. And another note, the flavoring on this shrimp was awesome. Mushroom risotto with fresh lavama rice, Adriano cheese, and mushroom. Here is the North Dakota bison tenderloin with a creamy polenta and now creek bourbon sauce as the base, oyster mushrooms, and crispy shallots. Here's going to be the pan food sea bass. It's going to have a fricassee of oyster mataki and button mushrooms with filled long. And last but not least, here the white truffle fettuccine in a fresh butter sauce with Adriano cheese and grilled truffle mushrooms. Okay, so our risotto. Nice, had a natural flavor. I give this our fourth place finisher. Next we'd have to say our uh, truffle uh, fettuccine gets third. A little bit uh, more uh, more flavor than the risotto. Second is our sea bass. With a, a very respectable second. And then our bison tenderloin. Definitely bringing it up with number one. So really nice with all these dishes. So we're on to our favorite part of the evening at the Charleston dessert time. We got the passion fruit panna cotta. And we got the sticky toffee pudding, as well as the mandra, mandri, chocolate mousse, and the saffron vanilla bean creme brulee. And the dessert is here. We have the creme brulee, chocolate mousse, passion fruit panna cotta, and the sticky toffee pudding. Beautiful. One, two, three, four. Okay, for our final review, we're a little bit indifferent to the desserts. All of them seem like a, a three. So we had our uh, chocolate mousse again, about a three. Um, she said she liked the uh, saffron creme brulee a little bit more. Um, the sticky toffee bread pudding was so-so. Um, missed on the temperature. It could have been a little warmer. And uh, a light on the flavor and then the panna cotta um, again light but nice soft and fresh at least so again 
I, I would say, you know, two and a half to three for all these. But a wonderful restaurant experience, great service, and a lovely atmosphere at the Charleston restaurant. So thanks for joining us. Signing off from the Charleston.